Hello, and welcome to the vlogging pod. Tonight, <laughs> we're going to do something just a tad bit different. Um, I want to talk about uh, getting back to work after the loss of a family member. I mean, it, well, most of you who have been listening to the show already know about my own current loss of my father um, about five months ago. And tonight I thought that we could kind of continue just a little bit along that segment uh, about, you know, about just the grief and how to get along with different things like that. And tonight, joining my conversation as she makes a grand entrance <laughs> is the literary vixen herself, Laura. <laughs> Let me send you an invite to the mic there, Laura. All right, let me see if I can't get you on. <clears throat> there she is. Hello? There you are. You're connected. All right. <laughs> to, I'm telling you, uh, Laura and I have been talking uh, off and on today, and it just feels like it's been a task. I don't know about you, Laura, but I feel like I've got a nice glass of wine in front of me. It feels like one of those days. Oh, sure. I have one waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a little courageous. We're just going to do that right on the mic. <laughs> so, uh, I know you are, girl. You're my uh, <laughs> you're my anchor. <clears throat> so, you know, I was doing some research as I try to do with each podcast, and one of the things that I found interesting was that bereavement. And if you have a traditional job, you know that nine to five or just the early mornings or the late night shift. Oh, there goes my dog starting out. And anyways, if you talk about bereavement, I don't know how every state is. I do know outside of the majority of states, bereavements are probably around about three days. And if I'm, if I'm wrong on that, please feel free to <laughs> message me or say it in the room, Laura, if I'm not knowing any different. But the one thing I found interesting that there is one state, um, Oregon. Oregon is the only state where it is mandatory that your business do bereavement. And I found that completely shocking. I mean, wow, out of all of them, just one? <laughs> yeah, just one. Um, <laughs> I know when oh, my husband's father passed away, I was working and I won't. I won't put out on the air where that was, but it was a regular convenience store and there was only three days, three days bereavement. And I find that interesting because, I mean, in, in the right mind, I can't imagine three days to be able to get your crap together. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? Uh, so, yeah. so anyways, um, I found that interesting because most jobs would be like, well, we'll see you Monday. That, you know, <laughs> get ready to get in here and punch in. And I just found that really interesting. I, but again, one of the things that, um, and it, again, it's been five minutes later. For me, I find that trying to keep busy is probably, so maybe going back to work is, could be a positive thing. But if you are struggling, one thing I want to point out to people is there's a, and there is an act, and it's a federal act. It's called FMLA, and that relatives breaks down to Family and Medical Leave Act, which entitles each employer that's covered under this to give you it. Now, mind you, here's the rub. <laughs> it's unpaid leave. Mm -hmm. So, but, but it protects your job. So you have a job, but unpaid which I know if anyone's like myself, it doesn't help a lot that it's unpaid. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I mean, someone's got to make sure the lights are turned on. <laughs> right. I know. That's why I think that maybe that's the way it is. I don't know. 
the so- the uh-huh. short amount of time that you're allowed. <laughs> it's like, get over it, girl. <laughs> right? I know, because I totally Googled, um, uh, what is it? Ber- bereavement leave in Arizona. <laughs> and one of the oh. things is time allowed, 24 hours. <laughs> or well, are you hours. kidding me? Yeah, it says that. I'm going to, I'll screenshot and send it to you. But it says, um, how many bereavement days are you entitled to in Arizona? And it said bereavement leave, time allowed, 24 work hours or 40 hours. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, and it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's more hours if you, if the employee must travel outside of Arizona for the funeral. Yeah. It's kind of like. Other than that, get your ass back. <laughs> get your ass back to work. Beep, beep. Beep. <laughs> exactly. Beep that. Beep that uh, word out there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I, I. No, you're fine. You're fine. Um, I did the beep. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> so you know what I find interesting about this? Like, oh, you know what? We don't care that this person's been a part of your life. You know, for thirty oh, something years. You know, um, get back in here and uh, tote those crates. <laughs> Right. Mop that floor, cut and that hair. Do, things, do that filing. <laughs> right? Of course, you know, the majority of people, like I said, um, you know, you don't have that. You don't you can't you can't just expect to get by with no pay, you know. But then mm-hmm. again, like I said, most people need to dive back in because of the distraction. So right. as we had established, um, if you have to get back to work. Um, you know, because of the bills or whatever. Okay, so you're back to work. You need the distraction. So what do you do with everybody else? Like that constant interaction? Because you know, you know what I mean? (laughs) There's going to be some Karens Mm -hmm. and they're going to (laughs) care. Yes, in the Karen way. (laughs) Yeah, right. And they want some details, man. They want some details. So what are you going to do? You know? Yeah. Now, what I find interesting is some things I looked up was the fact that they wanted some, some people recommend that you talk to your, um, oh, what is it called? Um, oh my gosh, now it's just lost my head. <laughs> <laughs> that you um, talked with customer, not customer. Your, um, yes, there you go. There's the word, human resources. and. I can't imagine talking with HRT about saying, oh, girl, I don't want my, um, you know, desk mate over here asking me questions. I mean, I don't know. Does that call it out more? What do you think? Does that make you feel even more uncomfortable asking the company itself? Because, I mean, what are they going to do? They're going to have a big old meeting before you come in. Like, girl, nobody ask her. (laughs) You know what I mean? What's happening? What's going on? Right. You know, I feel like that, it's a good option that it's there but a lot of times I think they won't want to say anything because depending on the company you know there's always one person that will tell everybody and everything anyways and oh, yeah. even if they say hey you guys you know so-and-so's coming back to work it's sort of do not you know just be kind and not bring it up you know there's going to be someone that's going to bring it up anyways because they think that the rules and stuff like that don't apply to them like oh no they'll tell me oh they'll talk to me and it's it's more like just give them space and time like who wants to talk about that especially at work in a public place like that where oh yeah you, you know you all the emotions will hit or you know it doesn't even have to be something it can be anything at that point when you're grieving will make you lose it and the tears will stop flowing or, you know. Oh yeah. But I, 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 I know. can see it being uncomfortable to go and say. Oh yeah. You know. I think the first. <laughs> oh yeah, I think the first um, what, about two three months of for myself, I wasn't even answering messages. I mm-hmm. really just didn't want to talk about it. Um, but I mean, here five months later, I mean, you're still. And maybe this is just me. It's still in my head. I know you and I have both lost our fathers and that's, it's really, I know relatively um, soon (laughs) in the years Mm -hmm. and the months here. Mm -hmm. Um, So it's not something that you just get over. And I think for me, 
the most uncomfortable thing is when people tell me they're sorry. And I'm like, I never know what to say. Am I supposed to say thank you? You know what I mean? Um, right. Yeah. Right. Thanks. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 yeah. How do you respond to that without, you know, I don't know. It's uncomfortable. It really is. I mean, and I can see it from the other side. I don't think I've ever been comfortable with death, um, whether it be the funerals or trying to be there for somebody else. Um, I think I'm more the person like, girl, if you need to yell, I'll just stand right here and you can just like get in my face <laughs> and, and right. stare me down and yell, yell your heart out. Um, and, you oh, know, sure. just from yeah. my just for my own family stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I'm used to getting the old yell. So, right. you're so I'm good at that. That's 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 a, that's okay for me. <laughs> Anything yeah. else I, I I don't know. But that's a lot of people um aren't comfortable with with that. I know when I when I lost my dad and there was some friends, like there was one that came, like was honest with me and, and and messaged me and said um, you know, this, I'm not comfortable with death and I don't know, uh, you know, what to say other than that, you know, if you need to like vent, I'm here, but I, I really don't know how to handle this well. And I, I appreciate that rather than mm-hmm. someone to, um, just force it, you know, like, I really appreciated that she said that cause I wasn't going to force somebody to message me or check in on me or anything like that. If it made them uncomfortable not because I was trying to make them comfortable. It's because, like, if you hear about, um, you know, someone losing somebody, like, their loved one, like, it can be triggering. And it is triggering for oh, me yeah. when I hear, um, you know, other people that I'm with or friends with lose somebody. You know, I get flashbacks to when, you know, when I lost my dad. And and I know that, you know, when I checked in with you and then I asked you because, it it can be triggering for some people. So sometimes if we think that someone's not reaching out to us, it could be because of that reason. But, you know, I appreciate that, like you being honest and saying, you know, I'm not comfortable with death, but I'm here mm-hmm. if you want to yell at me oh, yeah. or re- you yell some stuff out and I'll yell with you. But, you know, and, and <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know if you know if yeah. I'm making any sense, but. I know it's kind of like. I don't know what to say, but let's make a picture of margaritas. <laughs> oh, yeah. Talking my language. <laughs> yeah, right? That's my love language, right? Mm-hmm. I have a big old bottle, Moscato, or box. Hey, I'm not picky. Oh, um, no. But, yeah, I, I think even, and I, you know what I find the worst, the hardest? It's not just the job field that's harder to get back into. And I think it's the interaction that mainly. It's not the worst. The work, I think, is a great distraction. I think it's the interaction. <clears throat> and not that I fault people for caring or wanting to interact. Uh, mm-hmm. That I don't fault. You know, I mean, that's just something it's in within our capacity. And I'm sure that you and I would do it was for somebody else. We would let them know, hey, we're here. Um, if you need to talk or vent or whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. But I think the biggest thing, it's hard to shut up. And maybe, I, maybe I'm more sensitive to it now. Cause like I get on Facebook and it's, I need prayer for this. I, you know, this one passed away. My dog's gone. My cat's gone. Um, and I'll be honest with you. I find it hard to scroll nowadays. I mean, is that just me? I mean, is that, have you went through something similar to that? Oh yeah. I mean, if you, I don't, you know, I, I think I mentioned it before. My time on Facebook is very limited. I I go I you know unfortunately I can't totally go away from it because of of the work that I do but I do find myself away from Facebook a lot um just I don't know what it is about it and I'm seeing different posts and just things like that that I don't want to see or even you know and it's not even people that I personally know it's just in in the industry that I work with I and I um, sometimes I'm like how did I how do I know this person you know (laughs) but the things that I see on there just kind of discourage me and I don't want that you know so I just stay away from it and I'll go on there and do what I need to do and then and then kind of stay away from it for the most part so I I, I'm this I'm kind of the same (laughs) well yeah and I think it's what do they call those those the rhythm of um um 
what do they call those for social media? The algorithm. There's the word, the algorithm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And maybe because we've said something like, I I know when my father first, first passed away, I posted on, um, Facebook about my father passed away because you know there's some family members and stuff like that mm-hmm. and <clears throat> so I posted it and tried to move away from it. maybe it's the algorithm maybe when you put that out there that that's what ends up being in your feed and so you just see more and more of it and you know just, just you know what I'm saying I'm mean, like sometimes I'm like oh, man why am I seeing all this stuff? And that could be it. It could just be the algorithm and working through it and my own emotional kind of area on it. I find yeah, it very I agree interesting. With that. Yeah, because, you know, like it's also like when they say these apps are, are listening because you could be um, talking about something or even thinking about something. <laughs> and then you'll start seeing ads for it, you know, while you're scrolling. And you're like, right? Okay, are you listening in? You know, because I remember. Uh, I was talking to one of my friends asked me, you know, about dating or something and we were making a joke. And then sure enough, the next day I started, Facebook started telling me, <laughs> showing me dating stuff. And I'm like, no, thanks. But, you know, I think <laughs> it yeah, right. That. <laughs> I know. Right. I mean, I, I'll, I'll say something. I'll be looking for something. And all of a sudden these ads come up, popping up everywhere and be like, girl, you need you looking for this. I got you. I got you. Come on. Come on down. <laughs> <laughs> we're right? on sale this work just 20 percent off <laughs> <laughs> and free shipping <laughs> hey oh man man oh don't even go there because you know you know i'm all down yeah. for that you know oh, she yeah. if you're listening we're always willing to sponsor you here girl come on down she i like you a lot <laughs> we really do <laughs> uh, yeah right the mailman knows you know, I've got this into the mailman. He's like, she's not grieving. She's still ordering she in. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> like, mind your business and leave the package. <laughs> yeah, right. Come on, I'll represent you. We'll talk about you on my podcast. <laughs> we'll get you on down here. <laughs> exactly. You know, now we're going to see Sheena now on our time. Right. Yeah, my phone's, my phone's in here, man. It already advertised me on Facebook. It's like, hey girl, we know you're in the restroom. What you gonna do in there? <laughs> we don't want you concentrating that hard. You just get on here on she in now. <laughs> <laughs> Look what we got now. <laughs> right? We know you want this. Come on. Um so when we <laughs> no, this is totally off track. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> So when we talk about distractions, heck, like we're just doing right now, it's very distracting. She and you know what I'm saying. I'm talking, mm-hmm. you know, she and you help me with my grief, girl. You're you're right there with me. Um, I need some more ripped up shorts. <laughs> it's your support. <laughs> She's our support. <laughs> you know, like they say, like my support dog or my support this. It's like that's our support. <laughs> support right, right. <laughs> And I got to work, man, because I ain't got no money from this leave I'm not getting. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, now you'll see ads for that. Some, like, local jobs near you or something. You know? <laughs> right, right. Being super helpful. <laughs> <laughs> In your area now, shoveling manure <laughs> two doors <laughs> down. <laughs> Message. <laughs> uh, if anyone doesn't get that reference, I live in, I live very, ur- uh, not urban. Um, well, I don't know. The hills have eyes kind of give you a theory. <laughs> the corn, the something's coming out, the kids coming out of the corn. Oh, no. <laughs> That's where I'm at. So if you get the reference and there, there are as a horse farm just down a couple, couple houses down from me. So yeah, I'm sure shovel manure is <laughs> within my aspects of employment. Oh, no. <laughs> So anyways, when we talk about distraction, and we have done a very good job of that, <laughs> when we talk about distraction, um, does it get easier? I mean, that is one of the posts that I just put on Facebook uh, a couple of days ago, and my timer ready to tick down, so we have done 20 minutes. Can you believe that? Uh-huh. Um, 
I know, right? Girl, this is what we should just do. We should just get on here and start ranting. I'm telling you. <laughs> 20 <laughs> minutes goes fast. But when we talk about distraction, is it any easier? Do, do we find that it's easier where it comes to grief or distraction? And when you are out in public, that distraction, does it stop the grief? Does it stop the tears? I, I'm 50 years old, and I'll be honest with you guys. I don't care who sees it anymore. My aspect would be, I'd probably be more upset that you were watching me cry. What are you looking at? (laughs) (laughs) If you ain't got hanky to get my snot, don't bother what's going on here. (laughs) But um, in, in all honesty, I don't, I don't think there's any easy answers where it comes to, Mm -hmm. um, to grief. And according to a lot of senses, according to a lot of senses that I'm listening to, um, they're basically people say that you grieve at your own, um, your own level, you know, that it's never the same. Would you agree with that? Uh, I do. I, I would. Cause that's like the, on the same lines as like everybody processes it different, differently. Right. Yes. Yeah. And there's like, you know, I feel like there's no right or wrong way to grieve. And, and, and I feel like um, when someone tells you uh, to get over it or you should do this or I did this and I didn't, I didn't, you know, it only took me like two months or it only took me <laughs> a few weeks. And good, good for you. I don't know if you want a medal or a certificate or something that I just don't like when people volunteer that because everybody's different everybody mourns different just like everybody handles you know other things that happen to them differently than say somebody else does you know because that's what makes us all unique because we're all different if we had things the same way then it would be i don't know if that making any sense but oh no i think i think the reason we look for distraction is to find and feel free to disagree with me um is normalcy we, we mm-hmm. want some sort of normalcy because, I mean, for me, the grief is more outstanding for me because there's no control over it. There's right. no limit to it. There's no expiration date. And oh my heavens, I could use an expiration date some days. Um, oh, for sure. <laughs> well, yeah, right. I mean, and it's not just grief. It, especially if you are trying to be um, a pillar of strength for your family, it can be drawing, especially, you know, because you're going through the passage of grief yourself and trying to be the stronger person in your circle. I mean, it's, it's tasking. It very much is. So oh, for sure. And especially like if you're the, um, I usually find it's the old, most, most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time it's the oldest. Or the mm-hmm. the sibling that is like uh, more of a caregiver, you know. A lot of that mm-hmm. falls on us. I, I'm the oldest in my family, so when I lost my mom and my dad, a lot of it fell to me. So I had a, I was, I, I, I felt like I had to put my grief and stuff on hold for everybody else because mm. everybody else expected me to do a lot of the things that. Um, you know, was required because of me being the oldest and me being the the cared person that took care of everything. And, oh, yeah. and you know, I'm sure you can relate to that of, of handling a lot of things. And it's a lot. It's a lot on top yeah. of your grieving and putting it on hold. And then it, it it's a lot. So sometimes, you know, oh, yeah. using work or doing work related things is a nice distraction because there's nothing, um, uh, no surprises there. (laughs) You know what you're doing (laughs) and you know, you know what needs to get done and and you just jump into it and get lost for however many minutes, hours, um, just for that thing, you know? It's interesting because you're the oldest and I'm the youngest, but I see what, (laughs) I see what you're saying. I do see what you're saying. So here we are. We're at that time again, guys. Guess what that is? It's the Amazon deal of the day. <laughs> I know you couldn't wait till we got there, guys. I know, I know you're ticking away. You're like, I don't know what they're talking about. Just tell me what's on sale, girl. I need to know. I need, oh, and I feel you because, 
right? I feel you. So today, I don't know. I have been trying to do more. Um, it's called wall Pilates and I love the mats, but I'm never doing it in the same place. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm outside, I got to find a place to roll down. And so one of the things that you might need yoga mat sling. Okay. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It's durable carry strap for yoga mat with metal D rings for secure fit. There's no mat included in this guys. That's the downside, but it's 15% off. Any yoga mat would fit into it. It's got a little bit of stretch to it. It is now $8.50 down from its $9.98. The links, as always, guys, will be in the bio. And thank you so much, Laura, for being with me this evening. I really enjoy these kind of chats. We're going to have to do a lot more of these because this is a lot more. <laughs> I oh, really most definitely. <laughs> well, yeah, right? I mean, this kind of saves on our phone bill, right? <laughs> <laughs> like that's going to ever stop us. <laughs> I, I know, right? Got to keep those minutes on that cell. So thank you so much, everybody, for paying attention and coming in and being here with us. As always, until next time, bye-bye for now.